the path to successful day trading seems to be initially an absolute confusion in the beginning. Then a lot of trading is done and emotions are, are experienced. And after which uh, logic somehow pervades. If logic does not pervade, the next step cannot exist. So one famous statement is this, um, a trader uh, confides in another trader and one trader says, I can't sleep at night because of the trades. And the second trader says to the first trader, sell enough that you can get some sleep. So the first stage, that individual at that point has not crossed through the threshold of the emotional cycle of uh, unwrapping the, the logic from the bouquet of the bouquet of emotion that's involved in trading. Society places so much emphasis on the financial well-being and the need and everything around us is based on acquisition using financial instruments. And any time uh, a savings is used to acquire things, it imprints a Pavlov's uh, principle of conditioning. Now these conditionings can draw strong emotion. So the next step, it seems to be that the individual goes through an emotional cycle. And that emotional cycle blinds the person such that subconsciousness pops up. And unless that subconsciousness is reprogrammed to be a day trader, and, and based on numerous individuals, it takes many, uh, at least a year or more, and normally about three years to achieve that, that, that experience and that conditioning to become a successful day trader. The next step that I've noticed is that once I get over the hurdle of emotions, then I have to logically figure out on a statistical basis of how to lose fast. Losing fast is the threshold or sublime or at a point where water turns into gas, that sublimation, transconductance. The, the, the part where a demo trading account meets the paving, pavement road and that is the, the point where true logical thinking ten, can take a place knowing that once I conquer that enormous wall of, of this concept called losing fast it is a it is it is it is a point if I were to relate this again and I have to emphasize this as strong as strongly as possible it is when in a human life cycle a child becomes an adult it is within a human being when a person becomes pre Christian to post-Christian. Now, if you can imagine the enormity of that concept of losing fast. Many numerous, if, if I do a search on uh, many of the uh, YouTube videos, there are lots of professionals who cover that subject matter at least once. And there are books that covers this fact on numerous occasions as well. Losing fast 
allows an individual to come back the next day while preserving the capital to have life the next day to trade again. Without that critical instrument or knowledge and the habit and skill, then a person will end up blowing up the account or self-defeating or as they call it, uh, small little cuts at the same time. So the critical part is uh, in day trading, you have to know how to trade. You have to know how to lose. That is the most critical part of day trading. And once I master this point, and as I look at my own trading, and based on the record that I've kept on my YouTube videos, it is simply this. Initially, I drew a lot of charts and I did lots of trading, but purely based on uh, gambling uh, mentality. And then the second phase was this. The second phase was, this is very, very interesting, and I have documented this on YouTube, which is that there is an emotional self uh, introspective uh, intros introspection to to look deep inside me to figure out why I am doing certain things to capture the essence of my emotion once I cross that threshold then I, I can logically figure out how to lose once I figure out how to lose then I can use that as a stepping stone the passageway the pavement where I can solidly walk on in order to tread into the concepts of day trading and logically uh, study each of the components to create, to, to have a bag of tricks where the bag of tricks are filled in one trick at a time. And each of those trades uh, are useful on a daily basis as each moment of the day does not have all of those bag of tricks occurring at the same time. Some tricks may be layered uh, upon each other, and these layers could cause certain tricks to be highly profitable, whereas one trick may be less profitable. For instance, let's say the stock moves sideways. I could sell, I could sell, I could sell, I could literally sell options. But if the stock is moving in a certain direction, I certainly don't want to be selling because the risk of the stock moving in the opposite direction is quite high. Therefore, that is a prime example of bag of tricks that I could pull out from my, my bag of tricks and use. So there, are, there seem to be, so the first step, the first step is utter total gambling confusion. Two, emotional introspection into oneself to understand what is triggering the emotions and that causes myself to look on my trade while I am doing the trade. And a moment later, I'll be scratching my head, why did I do that? And then after the day is over, I recollect and see how I got there and say to myself, how could I have done that when I said that, that just moments before, I will not do that? That is a introspection, emotional check, and, and understanding and corralling and, uh, and fully vetting out the emotional roller coaster of day trading. The third part is understanding how to lose fast. Understanding how to lose fast is essential. It is the hallmark of day trading. Without it, you are not a day trader. If you do not know how to lose fast, you cannot day trade. It's simple, it's a simple fact. It is that important. Three things can happen in a trade. It goes up, you make money. It goes sideways, you don't make money, you don't lose money. It goes down, you lose money, and then if it keeps going down, you lose big. Those are the three things that can happen. In order for me to be consistently profitable, one and two, which is sideways or up, is good. I don't have to do anything. I could, I could make lots of mistakes and still make money on that. 
but the most important part is not giving away my losses and taking risks on the third, which is not capping my losses. That is the most important part of day trading. Once I, once I figure that out, once I figure that out, right? One, let's, let's figure this out. One, just trade mindlessly gambling. Two, introspection. Introspect, figure out what, what, how, how I work, how I'm emotional. Third, figure out the stop loss. Then the fourth, figure out, learn each of the bag of tricks. Then, then, then there are five fingers to day trading. Five fingers to the day trading. And the shortest finger on my hand is displaying the fruits, fruits, fruits of my labor. Fruit. The fruits of my labor, which is this. How to become a massively successful day trader. That comes after step number four, which is understanding the bag of tricks. Then three is stop loss. Two is understanding the self, the emotional balance that I need to control myself. Third is just mindlessly gambling, throwing money away, years, 401k, cars, houses, shirts, pain and suffering, utter family, chaos, snowstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. That, 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 in this case, when we're talking about fingers, if I were to hold up the third one, as you can see, that is the most important thing about day trading. And I say these after gambling for 20 years and then for the past year and a half, getting into the stage of emotional balance triggering between step one and two. And you can see where the third one is. That is the crossroad between passing through. It's like moving from earth to heaven. And that finger defines how I get there. And this kick clerk.